Hey there, space enthusiasts. Have you ever wondered how our universe was born? And if that's a bit too mind-boggling, let's take it one step further. What was before our universe? While scientists are tirelessly seeking answers to these profound questions, let's explore what they've discovered so far. In the 20th century, a major breakthrough came thanks to Edwin Hubble. One day, atop Mount Wilson Observatory in Southern California, he aimed his telescope at the sky and made a groundbreaking discovery. Oh, those random clouds of gas we saw? They were actually other galaxies, and they were moving. This meant one crucial thing. The universe is expanding. And if it's expanding, it must have had a beginning, right? Scientists took this idea and developed the Big Bang Theory. But what exactly does this theory propose? Picture the universe as an incredibly tiny, dense, and hot singularity. At some point, it couldn't contain the pressure and temperature anymore, leading to an explosive expansion. The Big Bang. This cosmic explosion created everything we see now, time, space, and all physical forces. Quarks, the tiny particles making up our world, began to cool down, forming atoms, molecules, and eventually the stars and galaxies. But what about before the Big Bang? Alan Harvey Guth, a theoretical physicist, found some inconsistencies in the Big Bang theory, particularly the even distribution of matter. This led him to propose the theory of inflation. According to Guth, a mysterious force caused a rapid expansion before the Big Bang, distributing matter evenly across space. Imagine a balloon filled with paint. If it bursts, paint splatters everywhere randomly. But if you slowly inflate a balloon with a small red dot on it, the dot expands evenly. This is similar to how our universe expanded. Guth's theory was revolutionary, offering a new perspective on the universe's birth. Then there's Martin Bojewald, who suggested another intriguing idea. He believed that the universe didn't just appear from nowhere. Think of time as a pendulum that swings back and forth, continuous and smooth. However, in quantum mechanics, Time isn't continuous, it's segmented, like the ticking of a clock. Bojewald proposed that our universe is just one in a series of cycles. It expands, contracts back to a singularity, and then a new universe is born. A perpetual cycle of cosmic rebirths. Taking it even further, scientists Neil Turok and Paul Steinhardt explored beyond our universe. They proposed that our universe is part of an infinite series of universes, each residing on a membrane or brain. These brains exist in a higher dimension and occasionally collide, creating big bangs and new universes. It's a mind-bending idea rooted in string theory and M-theory, suggesting a complex, multi-dimensional reality. Although this theory sounds like science fiction, it's based on rigorous calculations and advanced theories in quantum mechanics. But it's also met with skepticism, as radical ideas often are. Think about the history of scientific discovery, Many ideas that once seemed outlandish are now accepted truths. People once thought the Earth was flat and that it was the center of the universe. The Big Bang Theory itself faced significant opposition when it was first proposed. Science thrives on questioning the unknown and pushing the boundaries of what we believe to be true. Today, our tools and methods are more sophisticated than ever. Particle accelerators, space telescopes, and other advanced technologies allow us to explore the universe in ways our predecessors could only dream of. These tools bring us closer to understanding the mysteries of our universe's origins. So, which theory is correct? At this stage, we don't have definitive evidence for any of these theories. They remain fascinating hypotheses, each offering a unique perspective on our universe's origins. As science progresses, maybe one day we'll uncover the ultimate truth. If you enjoyed this journey through space and time, give this video a like and share it with your friends.